now that we have settled the issue between Lily and Lucia, we now need to go to talk around talking to everyone in the village and the tower because they change what they say and they change what they say based on whether you side with Lily or with Lucia. So let's start with Lily. I've become strong so I can protect everyone. Become a righteous person who's not afraid to stand against evil. Don't become like the men of this village were. It seems that you're properly protecting the mansion. Please, take care of it from now on as well. Please leave it to me, Lady Lily. It appears that Lucia, the opposition's leader, was defeated. She used to be Lady Lily's closest friend, and yet, I wonder how things turned out this way. Lucia determined that our power was responsible for the massacre. She was unable to bear the guilt of killing those men. All this was because she was a very kind girl. The time to spread tentacle magic has finally come! Following the example of Lady Lily, I also intend to depart on a journey. Thanks to your strength, we were able to fight off the rebels. Thank you very much for bringing peace to this village. She granted the abuse the power to break free, but there were those who opposed Lady Lily and forcibly resisted her. But they fell to Lady Lily. The remnants of their faction are in the tower to the south. Spreading a power over the world that should remain hidden. It's not like I don't understand why people are anxious. But when I think of how many people fell prey to cruelty, and how many this power can save. That silly opposition has gone quiet now. They too should have been in debt to Lady Lillian yet. Lady Lily's mansion is northmost building in this village. She's left on a journey and is currently absent. <laughs> I'm right here. I leave the mansion's management to you. There are various things inside of it, after all. Leave it to us. We are taking shifts to manage it. Looks like Lady Lily will be busy for a while. When will I get my power? story is already over, and I won't let it be repeated anywhere else in the world. Lady Lily has left on a journey, hasn't she? I know, it's because there are weak people to save outside this village. You are already strong enough. Even without me in the village, you should be fine. I see you, the opposition has been destroyed. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Oh, 
refresh all such past time after time, again and again. Time after time, after time, again. Learn from a bad example. That way you won't end up like the men of this village. <laughs> Apparently, the lord of this village grants arcane powers to travelers. I come seeking them, but I can't meet her now. I'm busy journeying at the moment. I'll grant you power next time I'm back here. Lean Lily. She has finally departed on a journey to save the oppressed all over the world. Yes, to save all the weak and to grant them power. The opposition has calmed down. Finally, peace has been restored to this village. Remnants of the opposition still remain in the tower to the south, but they probably don't have enough strength to attack our village. I can't thank you enough. It's all right now. No one will ever hurt you and your sister ever again. How pitiful. She's scared even now. That man should have died by this girl's hands. Now that has come to this, the resistance has been disbanded. Lucia is under our protection. Her life is in danger, but her magic power is. It's better this way, at least for Lucia. The power of magic tentacles was a burden to her. i become unemployed, and I need to look for another employer. We no longer have to worry about our mercenary salaries. We're ending our resistance movement. I want us to end by winning, though. We will not move out of here. We will succeed, Lady Lucia's philosophy. As you please, now that you've lost Lucia's powers, you can't do anything. A tragedy happened in this village. Please don't let it be repeated elsewhere. It's alright. Be at ease. The ones who will be alone who will eliminate it will be the weak who are oppressed by the strong. The resistance is over. It feels like it was all in vain. You are all now free from Lucia. Don't cause any further trouble and I'll overlook your indiscretions. Our fight is over. Now let's eat lunch. <laughs> you are one of Lucia's followers. Stay here, forever eating your box lunch. I'm unemployed now. Might as well eat lunch. <laughs> <You're>, yeah, <laughs> you sit there forever eating your box lunch. I ended up losing my job. I'm just eating lunch here now. I'm really eating lunch. I have places to go after this, honestly. Alright, now let's see. I think Lucy, uh, Lily has a quest. I heard about Ludite Village, and our place where women were abused. 
Please take me there. I want to see with my own eyes how the women were being treated. Alright. Off to Ludite Village. What remains of it. Alright. Let's kind of check inside. What a filthy place. All those poor girls being held captive in such a place. I want to drain every man here dry myself and give them a taste of their own mess and... So the inhabitants of this village are dead? Including the girls? I don't get that impression. No survivors were found during the searches. They're all drained to death by the little sisters. Hmm. Something's not feeling right. Let's take a look inside the houses. Just as I thought. There's a chance that the girls are not dead. There's no trace of stuff being spilled on the floor. Believe me, I'm half monster, so I know this kind of stuff. The girls are alive? But how? How I could have escaped in such a short notice? Not sure. I need to investigate a bit more. Let's go see in our house. It's in the house. How wonderful. Her wish was fulfilled. No traces of stuff in here either. Did you know saying girls being tortured during the massacre? You can't say for sure. We were so shocked with what was happening that we weren't paying attention. All right. Let's look at our house. What I'm sensing be some kind of residual magic. I feel it in here too. A faint fragrance of residual magic in the air. I see. So that must have been it. Some kind of teleportation spell. A teleportation spell? What are those three up to? Why'd they take the girls? I don't have the slightest clue why they did it, but I'm sure these girls are still alive, somewhere. Oh, those poor things. Just when they thought they had been liberated from hell, they were carried off by succubi. The deep sorrow felt by Lily infuses her with renewed strength. Lily learned heavy magic. Please be patient. I'm going to free you from your torments. As long as I can hear you cry, I will look for you even in the depths of deepest pits of hell. I can't find any more clues than the whereabouts of the missing girls remain mystery. Let's continue our journey, Luca. If we come across those three again, I'm sure we'll find out what they did to them. You're right. Let's keep going forward. I'm sure our paths will cross again soon. And thus, Lily and I were resolved in, in finding the little sisters, in hopes of finding the missing girls. Alright. And that's it with the Lily Path. Now for the changes on the Lucia route. You've defeated Lily, haven't you? Thank you very much. You won. I can't thank you enough. We don't resent Lady Lily. We just think her way of thinking is too dangerous. This hideout has been cleaned up. Don't take a while to finish everything, but... Cheers for your good work. I leave the rest to you.
Lady Lily is a strong person. She should be alright, even without magic tentacles. We won! So, am I unemployed now? You're back to living in the wilds in a tent. How about working with me in the Transport Guild? You no longer have to worry about mercenary salaries or ending your resistance movement. It's all thanks to you. I'm extremely grateful. Without power, you can't save yourself. But next time, it'll be those with power that... It can't be. Lady Lily lost her strength. What do we do now? The commotion is spreading, but I'm sure they'll overcome this. What have they done to Lady Lily? I won't forgive them. They could be helped. Her desires were disturbing the world. There was no choice but to defeat her. Lady Lily's dream has been rejected. Her power was sealed, and she most likely won't be able to use magic anymore. Ah, uh, it's heartrending. think that Lady Lily would be defeated by mere rebels. I hear that some adventurers help though. Could be you people. Leave this village at once! We did our best to do a good thing though. This is alright, isn't it? This is Lady Lily's mansion. She isn't receiving treatment here, though. I'm picking flowers for Lady Lily. I'll go visit her every three days. This time, I'm going to join the resistance. I'll hide in the basement and continue to fight against Lucia and the others. Purpose and desire has been rejected, even though we have to save the oppressed. I'm sure Lily isn't the only one who wants to assuage her guilt for causing a massacre by saving others. You need to properly face what you have done. Of course, I'm no exception in that either. Despite being a dad to Lady Lily, they defeated her and trampled all over her ideals. I have no excuse. But do you really think the power of tentacle magic can remain regulated if given to all of humanity? This power should not be spread after all. Is what you're saying? Even if people freed themselves from violence with the power of tentacle magic, those people only gave birth to more violence. The opposition's claims are foolish. What good is power if not for saving people? Because they don't understand that those traitors have. Lady Lily's mansion is in the northernmost building of this village. However, Lady Lily is currently unwell. You 
this ain't Tango Magic, it's not good anymore! I won't be given my power? But she's already been defeated. Why did they, Lily? Next time, there will be no need to rely on the power of tentacled magic. I pray that you at least move forward with a heart that is still human. The entire village is nursing Lady Lily. This village needs her. I'd like for Lily to once again become the, this village's hope, just as she was until now. But from now on, without resorting to tentacle magic. Alright. And we, of course, have a quest with Lucia. I'm currently researching the power of spirits. Could someone take me to the Force of Spirits? The power of wind gathers here, I see. I can feel the circulation of natural energy. Can you give me a little time? I want to collect observational data on the spirits. That's fine. But how are you going to observe them? I have a self-made measurement, Machina. It doesn't just receive, but also interferes with natural energy. What? My huggy is tingling! My immediate reaction. That's an interference wave then. Strengthening the interference wave. Two times. Four times. Eight times. <laughs> the power of wind is growing, isn't it? Now, how will she respond? Cheepapa! Cheepapa! Flower on my head! Cheepapa! 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 Sun is spinning! Cheepapa! This might be an important key. Let's record the song. Well, it is strangely catchy. Self learn cheap papa song. Yeah, that's it, Timmy. My head is turned spun spinny. It's alright. It was spinning in the first place. Still, I want to collect more detailed data. Next, let's go to the Earth Spirit. No, Swelling. Can you take me to the Safaro Desert? The strange waves are still inside her. Now we gained a couple levels. We should be able to recruit Salon. BF challenge. Alright, just barely endured it. You endured, huh? A brilliant victory. Emerged from the BF victorious. Salon puts her accessories back on. I'll get this to you for winning. I'm sure it'll be useful in your adventure. Killer earring obtained. I'll make up for this loss. I'll have a rematch soon. I don't have enough strength to chase after the mermaid masterminds alone. Could you allow me to accompany you in your journey? Let her join. I shall, Blade, shall be your strength. Alright. Oldest one is Naya. So I'll join the party. 